We count down to our 70th anniversary. We're taking a look at some of the issues that have affected our region for decades. In our Boston Next series tonight, we take a look at the astronomical cost of housing here and the innovative ideas that may help the housing crunch while changing the way we live in the future. So this property here was about the fifth or sixth property that I lost out on. It's been one disappointment after another for Maxwell Spar. High prices and bidding wars have left him empty-handed in his search for a home in Boston. To a person like me, who's a first-time home buyer, it's extremely frustrating to not even have a chance. There's a risk of losing our middle class. And we need to focus on ways to, to keep them here. It's a tall order, and one that falls on Marcy Ostberg, director of Boston's Housing Innovation Lab. Um, so we need to be creative about how we can build affordable housing at different income brackets. Marcy and her team are tasked with helping to meet the city's goal of creating 53,000 new housing units by 2030. One idea already in the pipeline, ADU or additional dwelling units. The city is making it easier for homeowners to get permits to add small rentable units in their attic or basement. This is something that's happening across the country and we're piloting it here in three neighborhoods. The lab also asked developers for ideas to redesign aging libraries or fire stations to add housing right on top. We got 27 responses back and they were all really interesting. The Innovation Lab is also encouraging the idea of homeowners pooling their money together. That way they could rehab existing multifamily units or build something from the ground up and build equity instead of developers making big profits. Here's something else new that's coming to Boston. It's called co-living. We're at this brand new building down in New York City where residents rent out their own private bedroom. But here's the twist, the co-living part of this. This unit has three bedrooms and they all share the same kitchen. Living like this is obviously a lot more affordable, which is great as long as you don't mind living with this guy or that guy. Don't do dishes. Well, we know he doesn't do dishes. Rents includes weekly maid service, along with all the furnishings, cookware, plates, towels, Wi-Fi. Chris Bledsoe is working with the developer to bring a similar building to the Ink Block neighborhood in Boston. He says trading square footage for amenities equals cost savings. And the perks and the services that Ollie is providing, if you were to bundle all of those together, you're talking about upwards of $500 to $600 a month of total savings. All of these ideas could help ease the housing crunch. It will only get worse if Boston lands the second Amazon headquarters. I think it's going to drive prices through the roof. Wow. Well, the Innovation Lab is focused on Boston, but many of the ideas could work in surrounding cities and towns as well, suburbs where a housing shortage is also a big issue. And we want to share your housing stories as well, on air and online. Go to our website, cbsboston.com, and click on Boston Next to tell us your story. You can also email us at yeah. newstips at wbztv.com.